Welcome, let's dive right in without me getting too wordy. Um, tonight is 4-3 Steam Traps. We're going to be doing uh, the review um, in Steam Systems. A, autom a blank automatically removes air and condensate from steam lines. A gate valve a pressure relief valve, a steam header, or a steam trap automatically removes air and condensate from steam lines? The answer is a steam trap automatically removes air and condensate from steam lines. The bellows is a thermostatic steam trap filled with pressurized nitrogen and alcohol and water solution, an air and water mixture, or steam. And the answer is the bellows in a thermostatic steam trap is typically filled with an alcohol and water solution. With a float thermostatic steam trap, the thermostatic element opens and closes only to discharge blank steam water condensate or air the answer is with the float thermostatic steam trap the thermostatic element opens and closes only to discharge air a thermodynamic steam trap has a blank that rises to allow the discharge of air and cool condensate. Is it by metallic plate, bellows, floating bucket, or single movable disc? A thermodynamic steam trap has a single movable disc that rises to allow the discharge of air and cool condensate. The sound method of testing a steam trap uses blank to listen for steam flow, infrared imager, sight glass, baseline chart, or an ultrasonic device. The sound method of testing a steam trap uses a ultrasonic device to listen for steam flow. A lot of the times the Um, questions I feel like answer themselves in the multiple choice questions. For instance, you know, the sound method of testing, referring to sound and audible sound, um, to listen, and then your choices are infrared, sight glass, baseline temperature chart, or ultrasonic device which is the only one that um, would apply to that arena um, we know by process of elimination we know it's not sight glass we know it's not an infrared imager we know it's not a baseline temperature chart so therefore a it's an ultrasonic device <clears throat> An inverted bucket steam trap is a steam trap that contains an inverted bucket connected to a blank. Is that a discharge valve, a steam drum, a steam strainer, or a bimetallic strip? An inverted bucket steam trap is a steam trap that contains an inverted bucket connected to a steam drum. Steam separators have barriers placed in the path of the wet steam flow that cause the steam to change direction. I gave you the answer. <laughs> the latest method of testing steam traps uses a sensor fitted inside a sensing chamber to detect the presence of steam or condensate by measuring its density, moisture content, temperature, or conductivity. The latest method of testing steam traps uses a sensor fitted inside a sensing chamber to detect the presence of steam or condensate by measuring its conductivity. Um, moving right along, section 4.4, condensate return of steam systems in the review. 
a blank is a steam system accessory. Accessory. That collects condensate return from the point where steam is used. A atmospheric vent, a condensate return tank, a condensate pump, or a vacuum pump. A condensate return tank is a steam system accessory. Accessory. The accessory. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Accessory that collects condensate return from the point where steam is used. A condensate return tank is a steam accessory that collects condensate return from the point where steam is used. Easy enough. A blank is used in large, larger steam boiler plants where there are many sources from which condensate returns to the boiler room. Is it a condensate feed pump, a steam condenser, an economizer, a condensate surge tank? A condensate surge tank is used in larger steam boiler plants where there are many sources from which condensate returns to the boiler room. Normally a surge tank is fitted with blank along with the transfer pumps and controls. Is it makeup water fittings, the superheaters, inverted bucket steam traps, pressure reducing stations? Normally a surge tank is a surge tank is fitted with a makeup water fitting along with the transfer pumps and controls. Normally a surge tank is fitted with a makeup water fitting along with the transfer pumps and controls. That's true. A pressure buildup in condensate return tank is prevented by a manhole a blowdown valve, a U-shaped expansion loop, or an atmospheric vent line. A pressure buildup in a condensate return tank is prevented by an atmospheric vent line. Transfer pumps are used to transfer blank to the deaerator or directly to boiler feed water pumps. Is it recycled water, dry steam, mixtures of condensate and raw makeup water, mixtures of condensate and steam? The answer is transfer pumps are used to transfer condensate and a, a mixture of condensate and raw makeup water to the deaerator or directly to the boiler feed water pumps. A gauge glass may be attached to a condensate tank and used to blank. <clears throat> Indicate the temperature of condensate. A gauge glass may be attached to a condensate tank and used to indicate the level of condensate, indicate the temperature of condensate, discharge condensate to a surge tank, or collect condensate from return lines. The answer is a gauge glass may be attached to a condensate tank and used to indicate the level of condensate. Some correct terms, uh, de-superheater, steam trap, non-condensing steam turbine, saturated steam, and superheater. Steam that is in equilibrium with water at the same temperature and pressure is saturated steam. Steam that is in equilibrium with water at the same temperature and pressure is saturated steam. A bank of tubes through which steam passes after leaving the boiler where additional heat is added to the steam is a superheater. 
A bank of tubes through which steam passes after leaving the boiler where additional heat is added to the steam is called a superheater. A steam turbine that exhausts at atmospheric pressure or above is a non-condensing steam turbine. Yes, a non-condensing steam, tur steam turbine um, is a turbine that exhausts at atmospheric pressure or above. An accessory used to remove heat from superheated steam to make it suitable for a process is known as a desuperheater. And an accessory that removes air and non-condensable non gases and condensate from steam lines and heat exchangers without a loss of steam is called a steam trap. That's right. Desuperheating steam. I won't go much longer. In some cases, superheated steam must be desuperheated. A common way is to introduce water into the steam line, which evaporates and cools the steam to its saturation temperature. The amount of water required to completely desuperheat the steam without leaving condensate in the lines depends on the temperature and flow rate of the superheated steam and the temperature of the water. The flow rate of the saturated steam equals the flow rate of the superheated steam plus the flow rate of the water. So you have water saturated equals water superheated plus the flow rate of the water. Pressure drops across steam traps. A pressure drop is measured is a measured change in pressure as an object moves through a process. It is a, the difference in pressure between objects or points in a system. This is sometimes referred to as a pressure differential. A pressure drop is calculated by subtracting the low pressure from the high pressure as follows. Pressure drop equals high pressure minus low pressure. The measured pressure can be in any units with the pressure drop in those same units. The pressure drop will have units in PSI if the higher pressure and lower pressure area in a PSIA or PSIG because the pressure drop represents a difference in pressure, not simply a reading on a pressure gauge. In some cases, the high pressure and low pressure are in different units. However, these measurements must be in the same units to calculate the pressure drop. And for example, the pressure drop across a steam trap must have the high pressure measured in PSIG and the low pressure must be measured in inches of mercury vapor, or I'm sorry, of mercury vacuum because the condensate pump pulls a vacuum on the condensate tank. In this case, the vacuum measurement must be converted to PSIG before calculating the pressure drop. A vacuum measurement is negative on the PSIG scale because it is below zero. A vacuum reading in inches of mercury can be converted to PSIG by multiplying the reading by 0 0.491. For example, a steam trap has an inlet pressure of 8 PSIG and an outlet pressure of 4 inch HG vacuum. Outlet pressure, inlet pressure 8, 0 psi, 1.96. it passes through the steamlet steam trap the outlet pressure would be 4 hg we'll come back to this in another video i'm tired and it's been a long night um this is 
for educational and artistic purpose. Please like, subscribe, and or share. And if you'd like to contribute to Chrome Mon Eye content uh, creation or support my cause, I will list my Bitcoin uh, address below in the video description. Please feel free to leave comments and um, I will address them. Thank you and have a positive and productive day tomorrow. Good night.